Welcome back to the grind for a abyss guide with Diablo versus Red Skull for my Karina's Challenge Challengers Abyss Run playlist. Now, I was contemplating for a long time whether I should take Diablo or Longshot because I was doing Path 3 and I, I could only fit one of them on the team for what I was going to run. And Longshot was a rank 2 6 star unawakened. Diablo is a 5 star maxed out max sig. And I decided to go with Diablo because I wasn't going to have enough potions you know, to heal for every fight. And Diablo's regen is just so crazy that he was so sustainable definitely saved me resources there and i was pretty sure that he would be a decent ch champion for this fight now with red skull he takes really much like no damage under one bar of power and 50 percent damage between one and two bars of power and then i think it's 25 percent more damage when he's above two bars of power so you ideally want to deal your big amounts of damage when he's above two bars of power but then you have to deal with his special too which can be quite annoying now what i tried to do for this fight is i used the pre-fight for nullifying because that gives you better damage on your special three plus it gives you more bust to nullify to give you power back with mystic dispersion and but i first wanted to ramp up and build back up to eight of those poison charges so i did that now just by baiting out special ones and cycling special ones myself um, so that i had an easier time building that up because the special one is easy to counter and then the goal was to push him to special two and then throw off my special three and that was going to give me uh, the most damage off the special three and the poisons that are applied while he's above special two will deal a larger amount of damage while uh as long as they are um, applied to him. So as soon as he uses a special attack, you still have the higher damage from the poisons being done. And so you also want to try to refresh the poisons with your special two when he is over two bars of power so that you then refresh them at a high damage uh, amount again. So now we're trying to push him back up to two bars of power. Sometimes the AI was being really annoying and not throwing, uh, or sorry, not uh, just throwing a bunch of heavy attacks or when I was holding block, still throwing a special two. So that was quite annoying. So I couldn't get the parry. I wanted to parry him to stun him for the pacify mastery so he would gain less power from the special three while he was stunned. So now you can see the poisons are dealing some pretty nice damage. Um, we only have 16 on right now, but we're taking over 5,000 per tick, so 10,000 per second. So now the goal is to race up to a special two and try to throw that off while he's gonna have two bars of power. I think I just barely missed it. So you can see he's only ticking now for two, but now I did it again back to back. Now he's ticking again for 4,500 damage per tick. And so the goal is to keep pushing him up to two bars of power uh, before I throw my special two to refresh them. Here again, the first hit pushed him over two bars. So we got the nice higher damage ticks and all those special twos are giving us nice burst damage on the end there. This was a fairly lucky run. This was the best run I had. I did not have things work together quite as well for me in the future runs but I was able to get several special twos on him while he was at two bars of power refreshing the poison now we're at over 5,000 damage again um, so we were able to keep this going for quite a long time and now I'm going to try to race up to two bars of power if I can uh, but I couldn't sorry so I threw off a special one to pause them and they're still ticking for 5,000 and so the goal is to pause them as long as possible with the 5,000 tick and we're we're almost at 20 thousand or sorry 20 percent damage in this one fight and now we were able to get back up to two Two bars of power again to refresh them well over his two bars of power now taking for 5300 damage per tick again over 10,000 damage per second and we're going to try to refresh them again here to keep them going i have to dash back really quick barely paused it barely paused it before they expired and so now i'm not going to be able to uh, i don't think keep them paused i probably should have thrown a special one right away there and unfortunately i didn't so they are going to expire if i had thrown the special one i could have kept it paused longer so keep that in mind for your run but that was quite a long time with those um high damage poisons on him with the pausing and the refreshing and now we're just going to try to take advantage of our parry heavies as much as possible for the last few charges that we have remaining and we're able to squeeze out another couple percent here uh, and if we get to special two i'm throwing special ones now just to get some regen to help keep me alive for the rest of the fight but if you can throw out special twos you do get that nice burst damage from the last hit of the special two but this was the best run i could do 25 percent with one run with a five star diablo not too bad in my opinion this was the fight that i was uh, one of the fights I was most worried about ended up being not that bad actually with Diablo and there were fights that actually were worse for me <laughs> on this run. So if you're planning to take this run and you're not sure what to do with 
Dia or against Red Skull, Diablo is definitely a very viable option for this fight. And as you will see shortly, I did mess up and I died before I even used all my charges, so maybe we could have squeezed out another 1 or 2% damage, but I still think that 25% was a solid run uh, against Red Skull with Diablo. This was one of the more painful fights on Path 5 and Path 3, so I was very happy that Diablo worked quite well. Here's the mistake, messed it up. But I hope that this video was helpful. Take a look at the playlist uh, when I do get more videos out for this run, Path 3, Green is Challengers, and let me know uh, what your thoughts are, what your plan is, if you did the run already, how it went for you, and I hope to see you in the next video.